Hello and welcome to the Caymanus Park Highlight Show. In this week's edition, we'll recap the race card from Saturday, July 1. 10 races were on offer, including the Race 9 feature event, the second gem of the Triple Crown series, the 97th running of the Jamaica St. Ledger. Let's begin with Race 1. This was a maiden condition event for native bred 3 years old fillies covering 1100 meters or 5.5 furlongs. A field of 9 reduced to 8 with the scratch of Glittering Magnum from the 3 box. And they're off for the first. Answer my prayers gets a slow start. Veliki Vicky took off quickly. Lambo Girl attacking already. The love of God showing speed and moving in between horses. Princess Aquila in the white races out wide, overtaken by Hot Stepper between them, filling the sandwich. That's a xylophonic steel as they arrive at the half mile and go into the turn. Answer my prayers toward the back of the field, and last of all, it's a jubi wap wap. They're all strung out up front as they charge away now toward the final three. The love of God battling Veliki Vicky. Lambo Girl now out three wide and beginning to make gains. Princess Aquila is some three and a half lengths back in the white on the outside. Hot Stepper races next. Answer my prayers going extremely wide. Behind them Xylophonic Steel and last of all it's a Juby Wap Wap. But the love of God made a perfect turn. Lambo Girl has blown it and continues to run nearest to us. As they charge up now passing the 316th on the far side. It's the love of God who has that lead. Veliki Vicky and Hot Stepper in pursuit. But the love of God continues to turn them back. Javanil Patterson and the love of God in the first. They lead the 16th fall, they won't stop the love of God. The love of God comes cruising in to win by maybe six lengths. Hot Stepper will be second. Veliki Vicky third. Xylophonic Steel is fourth. Princess Aquila is fifth. The love of God takes the days first at odds of six to five, dismissing a quality field to finish five and a half full lengths of the second place runner, Hot Stepper. Third went to Veliki Liki. Xylophonic Steel had to settle for fourth. Race 3 was a restricted allowance event covering a distance of 1,820 meters, dubbed a spectator's treat as the horse would break from the gates just in front of the stands. Lion of Ecati from the Jason Costa barn was the lone importee in the small field of six. For the third, 1,820 meters, starters ready, they're off. An almost perfect start. Lion of Ecati a bit outsped in the earlies as Prissy on the rail goes for it with delay the game as they run into the clubhouse turn. Delay the game just on the outside, Prissy in the blue as they arrive at the mile and delay the game now asserts and goes on by more than a length. Prissy races back in second, Shadowfax a length and three parts back and racing in third, another length and three parts to a surety. Three quarters of a length away, Ava Jalen attached to the outside of a surety as they leave the seven and a lion of Ecati a long way at the back. They make their way down the far side and about to arrive at the six and delay the game. Setting moderate splits has that lead. Prissy now getting closer with Shadowfax joining the first two as they leave the six. Four lengths back to Ava Jalen, a surety a length down. And last of all remains a Lion of Ecati, but beginning to get a bit closer. Possibly ten lengths separates the entire field as they leave the five. Delay the game and Shadowfax in a battle up front, their heads apart. Prissy five lengths back and needing to do more. Ava Jalen now asked to get going. Lana Vecati has overtaken the new trailer. That's a surety as they arrive at the half mile and rush into the turn toward the uh, 7 16th. They're there now and Shadowfax has opened up a huge lead. Ava Jalen now begins to go in chase on the outside. Overtaking delay the game beginning to fade. They leave the three. Prissy is asked to make some progress along with Lana Vecati and a surety firmly planted last. They've left the 516th, they're coming into the lane. Shadowfax may have stolen it. Ava Jalen continues the chase. Delay the game is further back down against the rail. Prissy in the blue silks in behind them. Line of a catty out wide, a surety at the back, but it's all Shadowfax. And the rider now becomes a busy man. That's Radish Roman. He's changing his hold and keeping Shadowfax going with a furlong to run. Can they get back to Shadowfax? Shadowfax is running away from them inside the final 16th. Line of a catty beginning to make late progress. Best of the rest but it's all over. Shadowfax will take it easily under Radish Roman by maybe three or four in the end. Lion of Akati cutting into it but too late. Second, Ava Jalen is third. Delay the game is fourth. An ironic winning combination with the three to five favorite Shadowfax and the jockey Radish Roman who is affectionately called Sneaky Fox. They steal the day's third and give trainer Lawrence Fremantle his second win on the card. Race number four on the card was an optional claiming event for three years old and up 
Garincha and the Sunshine Cat from the 3 and 4 box respectively were both winners in their last outing and were expected to continue on their good form. Now they're off. Perfect start almost. Garincha just outsped at the back with whatever. As they make their way now toward the final six furlongs. Regagon Grammy on the rail has that lead. Three card guy overtaking narrowly. Garincha is right there as they're all bunched on the front end. War of the Roses is in the yellow as they make their way now toward the final five furlongs. Sunshine Cat hidden from view and a gap opens up to whatever. They leave the five and Regagon Grammy just the leader by ahead. Garincha on the outside pressing home the attack. Sunshine Cat moves out of the group and now is a clear third. Three card guy back in fourth, possibly four and a half to five lengths off that lead. War of the Roses in the yellow, shaken up for run, and whatever left last. The tempo has increased. They have left the 7th, 16th, a reggae gone Grammy battling Garincha. Sunshine Cat sneaking closer all the while, getting a perfect ground saving run on the rail. And Sunshine Cat now comes through to join the first two. Three card guy left back in fourth, running on the spot. War of the Roses is next, asked to make late progress, forget whatever. But they're into the lane. Sunshine Cat near the rail. Reggae gone Grammy in the green has faded back. Garincha the Grey kicking in on the outside. They come toward the last furlong of the event, and it is. Is Sunshine Cat battling Garincha. That's where the race is. Both riders wailing away with their sticks. It is Sunshine Cat just the leader. Garincha continues to launch an attack inside the final 16. Sunshine Cat and O'Neill Mullings now beginning to assert over the grey Garincha. And Sunshine Cat will win by a length and a half. Garincha is second. War of the Rose is third. Three card guy is fourth. The 65 favorite Sunshine Cat with another impressive run and back to back wins coming off the claim for her new trainer, Oral Hayden. The second favorite, Garincha, had to settle for second. War of the Roses, third, and Three Card Guy taking the fourth spot. Race 5 was another optional claiming event for three years old and up. A competitive field of eight took on the 1400 meter trip. Stephen Todd's Sir John was the hot 3 to 5 favorite. Field is in line, start already, they're off. Fair start. Ianai Lynx gets a good one on the far side as they run now down the back stretch and make their way toward the six. Ianai Lynx just the leader from Secret Traveler. Catalina is racing alongside. That's he can dance. They run past the six. Inspired Miracle Race is next on the rail. Turn on the light now beginning to make some mild progress. Angelos needs a room to run. And on the outside, it's Sir John in the yellow. They've left the five and make their way now toward the final half of a mile, about to leave the back stretch behind them. And the war up front is between He Can Dance and Secret Traveler. Turn on the light, switched on now, asked to join them. These three the top ones at the moment. Ian I Lynx has faded back, inspired Miracle Racing some five lengths off that lead. Sir John in the goal now being pushed along. Catalina races second from the back and Angelos is last. They've left the 3 8 they're approaching the final 5 16th, and Secret Traveler will attempt to go all the way. He can dance, ask to boogie on the outside, but they're into the lane, and it is a Secret Traveler and devastating Dane Dawkins, the champion jockey, who now looks to have stolen it. As they approach the final 3 16th, will Secret Traveler continue the roll? As they head toward the furlong pole, Inspired Miracle is chasing best of the rest. Ian I Link's now running on the spot. Turn on the light has been switched off, but they're in. Now the final 16th and it is Secret Traveler and a Dane Dawkins with a 5 or 6 length lead. It's held over Inspired Miracle. Secret Traveler running away with it beats Inspired Miracle. Ian I Lynx, turn on the light and Sir John. Champion jockey Dane Dawkins puts in another good ride aboard the Robert French conditioned Secret Traveler. Beating Inspired Miracle in second, Ian I Lynx, third and turn on the light, settling for fourth position. It's now time for a break on the Caymanas Highlight Show. On the other side, we'll recap the remaining races on the card from Saturday, July 1, including the day's feature, the 97th running of the Jamaica St. Leisure. Welcome back to the Caymanas Highlight Show. In the second half of our presentation, we'll recap races 6 to 10. Race 6 was another restricted allowance race for native bred 3 years old and up, importees 3 years old and up, going a distance of 1500 meters. Jordan Barrett replaces Anthony Allen aboard the Gary Griffith conditioned Blinking Light. And they're off. 1500 meters, Secret Admiral comes out slowly with Pretty Caroline. Piggly Wiggly in the orange sleeves leaves the 7 with a 4.5 to 5 length advantage. 
blinking light in chase in second as they make their way toward the six. So Piggly Wiggly has the field off their legs at the moment as they go flashing past the six. Blinking Light is racing with I Am Interested. Anonymous now beginning to take closer order. Loyal Action is the one hidden on the outside. These four in a very tight clump. Strike Smart races next as they race past the five. Modern Miracle in the red race is up next. Secret Admiral now beginning to make some sort of a recovery and Pretty Caroline at the back. A half a mile to run. They go rushing into that turn. Piggly Wiggly out in front, but still not so far. Anonymous is right there on the rail. Loyal Action asked to pick up as they're still in a tight group, the chasers, as they arrive at the three. I am interested has now made some good progress. Strike Smart is also picking up on the outside of horses. A break back to Anonymous. Uh, then a blinking light down against the rail. Pretty Caroline and Secret Admiral and Modern Miracle has been left at the back as Piggly Wiggly goes miles wide and strikes. Smart over on the rail now has the lead and gets cracks of that left-hand stick. They have three sixteenths of a mile to run. It is Strike Smart out in front. I'm interested is right there down against the rail. Loyal action running on the spot. Secret Admiral has made progress from an awful beginning. Pretty Caroline running toward the outside, but it is Strike Smart inside the final sixteenth. Omar Walker, El Champo, and Strike Smart of Porch may be a 10 length lead and will hold it to the line. I'm interested second over Secret Admiral, then Pretty Caroline, Loyal Action races in fifth. Six time champion jockey Omar Walker upsets the upper cart aboard the 10 to 1 outsider Strike Smart with win margins of 10 long lengths in a time of 1 minute 36 and 1 fifth of a second. Race 7 was the Clovis Metcalf Trophy, an open allowance event for the three years old and up going a distance of five and a half furlongs. The natural favorite and reigning horse of the year, Atomica, with champion jockey Dane Dawkins in the saddle, was expected to dominate the small field of six. They're off for the Clovis Metcalf CD. La Ban comes out at the back of the field. Perfect Blue and Atomica come away running as they leave the seven. Miniature Man and Excessive Force team up in behind, and La Ban now attempting a recovery. Atomica has now been sent through by Dane Dawkins and gets that lead. A length and a half in front of Perfect Brew. Laban has made good progress on the outside. Miniature Man now overtaking the new trailer. Excessive force, but no more than four to five lengths separates the bunch as a rated Atomica will arrive at the five and now opens up the lead to four lengths. Miniature Man waiting in second. Perfect Brew is right there on the rail. Laban under an easy ride on the outside. And last of all, it's excessive force. A half a mile to run. Atomica still holds on to a good-looking lead. All of four and a half lengths. Miniature Man continues the chase. There goes Laban now asked to quicken. Perfect Brew is shaken up on the fence. An excessive force has a lot to do as Atomica may have stolen it already. She has left the three with a commanding advantage. At the 516, she has opened up six or more lengths. Miniature Man chasing with Perfect Brew, Laban, and excessive force at the back. Atomica turns for home. This is the filly of old. And she now, the rider has a look behind her, he shakes her up and Atomica just keeps on going approaching the final furlong, Miniature Man is racing in second, Perfect Brew over on the rail is third, but it is Atomica, she looks to have killed them all off, inside the final 16th it is all over, Atomica will romp, the Clovis Metcalf CD trophy, Dane Dawkins will have his second they win by nine or more, Miniature Man is second, Perfect Brew is third, Excessive Force fourth, Laban is fifth Another impressive performance by the prolific duo of jockey and horse, dismantling a quality field and winning by an impressive eight and a quarter lengths ahead of second place finisher Miniature Man. Third went to perfect brew while excessive force ran on in fourth. The eighth race on the card was an optional claiming event for three years old and up, contesting a distance of 1400 meters or seven furlongs. Anchorman in. Field in line, they're off. Bin Laden steps off slow. As they group up on the front end, wanting that lead on the run now toward the six, and Wowza just has it. Zabratone a half a length down in second as they go passing the six. Dodge this link is in the red and black. Anchorman on the outside. Bin Laden has progressed well and goes after that leading bunch. As they make their way now, flashing past the five. Ijo Primero begins to make some progress. That group covered by maybe five lengths. And a gap opens up to the trailer, Duke of Springs. They're arriving at the half mile. Zabratone and Wowser up front. Zabratone just the leader, Wowser a head away. Here comes Dodge the Slink now to take them on. These are a threesome as they are about to arrive at the three. Bin Laden is four lengths back with Anchorman in pursuit. Ijo Primero races second from the back. And last of all, it's Duke of Springs 
as the leaders have left the 516th and will come into the top of the lane. Zabertoon stepping just off the rail. Dodge this link racing out on the outside, now beginning to throw down a challenge over against the rail. That's Wowza, but Zabertoon the one to catch, getting cracks of that right hand stick. Dodge this link needs to find two, maybe more. Wowza is over against the rail. The rest all seem to be beaten as they're inside the final furlong, and Zabertoon now begins to open up under action pack Ray and Lewis. It's Zabertoon opening the gap over Dodge this link and the rest, and Zabertoon comes away for an easy and convincing win. Maybe seven lengths. Dodge this link is second, Anchorman third. Could be Duke of Springs over Wowser on the rail. Leading rider Ray and Lewis aboard the 45 favorite Zabertoon romps home at the furlong pole, beating the likes of Dodge this link, Anchorman, and Duke of Springs. The most eagerly anticipated race on the card was the Jamaica St. Ledger, carrying a whopping Jamaican $4.5 million purse, featuring the island's best three-year-olds with the 1-5 favorite Mojito and Jason Costa's pair of talented fillies Talita and Mamma Mia. Denzel Miller doing the honors, he sends them off. Mamma Mia gets a good start in the center. As they come racing up toward us, Sensational Move is also in the early fray. Princess Sharon is right there over against the rail as Mamma Mia takes them along. Princess Sharon in the black cap races on the fence. Talita is right there in the early mix. Sensational Move and Huntsman racing out wide. Mojito now looking for a spot on the rail, but blocked at the moment as they leave the mile. Rhythm Buzz races in behind those. All for Love is next from Sheer to Ben. Kai on the go races toward the back of the field. And last of all, it's Life is Life. As the St. Ledger field make the way now, flashing past the seven. Mamma Mia out in front with a clear run. Princess Sharon is the one chasing best of the rest at the moment as they go toward the six. Huntsman in a good position on the outside. Sensational move is there. Mojita now beginning to make ground. Thalita in between horses. Money Miser is next, possibly 10 lengths off that lead. Rhythm Buzz just another length and a half down. All for Love is under the pump. A gap opens up from Sheer to Ben. Life is life. And last of all, it's a Kai on the go as they have left the five and make their way now toward the final half mile in the Jamaica St. Ledger. Mamma Mia. Princess Sharon, they continue their jewel up front. Huntsman on the outside. Thalita now asked to kick. Mojita continues to look for ground being pushed on the rail. Money Miser is in between horses. Sensational move races further back with Rhythm Buzz as the leaders leave the three. All for Love now beginning to run on the spot. Life is life and from Sheer to Ben are just ahead of Kai on the go as the field will come thundering into the top of the lane and Princess Sharon gets that lead. Here is Thalita kicking in on the outside. Money Miser has made good progress. Mojito is nowhere to be seen at the moment as they run toward the final furlong and it's the filly Thalita who picks up that lead. On the outside Money Miser on the rail Princess Sharon but it is Thalita. She will create the upset over Mojito and the rest. Thalita running away from them in the end. And this is the Jamaica St. Ledger, and Thalita surprises them all and wins by six. Over Money Miser, Princess Sharon, Rhythm Buzz, Mamma Mia back in fifth. Thalita creates the massive 9 to 1 upset and splashes Mojito's Triple Crown hunt to an end, leaving the top five to read Money Miser, Princess Sharon, Rhythm Buzz, and Mamma Mia taking the final fifth place. An ecstatic Ryan Lewis and the champion trainer Jason Da Costa had this to say after their impressive win. After the guineas, the 1,000 guineas, I start, I get on this horse, I've um, been working her a couple of morning, and I get to know her in that quick space of time. And um, the race was all I had to do was to get a good break, position into the first turn, go into the back stretch, keep a good position, and don't rush her because the last two furlong would be where you want it to matter most. My two fillies are, are pretty close in ability, and um, you know, both horses can't win, so, so we had to basically come up with a plan. You know, one was going to go to the lead and take the pressure, and the other one came from off the pace. So it, it, um, it worked out today. The tenth and the final on Saturday's card was the Midnight Angel Trophy, an overnight allowance event for three years old and up. Champion trainer Philip Viani OD had a double entry with Taurus Boy and Inspire Force breaking from the one and two box. They're off for the Midnight Angel. Champion Bubbler, Sparkle Diamond just toward the back with Alexa's Dream. God of Love as they leave the five, goes for that lead with Allure of Lucy attacking on the rail. Taurus Boy two lengths in behind them. 
A gap of some three to Curlins of Fair racing down into fourth at this stage. Sparkle Diamond making ground with Generation Lull and Alexa's Dream on the outside. There goes Champion Bubbler. They're all overtaking Curlins of Fear. Inspire Force has a mountain to climb along with El Professor. That's the order. They leave the three. In the Midnight Angel, they're about to come to the 516th. A God of Love on the outside, a Lure of Lucy on the rail. These two now going at it at the top of the lane. God of Love turns for home with the advantage. Lure of Lucy continues her run down against the rail. Here comes Generational in the black cap as they charge up toward the furlong pole. And it is a God of Love and a devastating Dane Dawkins is looking for a trick as they're inside the final furlong. It is God of Love under full power, clear of Lure of Lucy and the rest all chasing in vain as God of Love will take the Midnight Angel by maybe four. Lure of Lucy is second. Inspire Force coming from Nora is third. Close between Champion Bubbler and a Generational for fourth and fifth. Champion Jockey Dane Dawkins teams up with trainer Rohan Matthews, God of Love, to take the day's 10th and final. Beating Lure of Lucy, Inspire Force and a Generational rounding off the top four position. As we recap another thrilling weekend of racing, it was highlighted by that blistering ride and massive upset win by Ray and Lewis aboard Jason Da Costa's Super Philly Talita. In the Race 9 feature, the 97th running of the Jamaica St. Leisure. This has been another edition of the K-Manus Park Highlight Show. See you next time.